G'day and welcome back to the garage and part four of the Dry Lake Racer hot rod build. Today we get this chassis sorted out but first I need to organise my garage so I've got some space. After a little bit of mucking around, I've got the chassis set up nice and level on some stands, and now I can begin work getting it right. So laying around somewhere, I do have the parts that came out of that, but really she's pretty fatigued in there, a few cracks. So I think the best thing I can do is cut out any fatigue bits and put some nice new fresh metal in there, make it nice and strong again. And um, last night I hit up one of my mates for some engine mounts, and he's got a couple, so we'll replace these, take them out. And we'll cut out all the stuff we don't need. I'm going to remove this AR brake assembly. Like there's little bits of stuff that needs removing. We'll clean it right up. Make sure she's got no cracks. And um, have it ready so we can paint it. And then we can start bolting things to it. You know what, I might get that sandblasted. I've got a mate across the road that can do it for me, so I'll give it to him, we'll come back nice and clean, then I can see exactly what's got to be done without any oxidisation in the way. what happened to Dodge. Well while I'm letting this soak it's been a little bit of a troublesome piece to get off but I don't want to just cut it off because it's rare. It might come in handy one day or I might know somebody that's a bit of a purist and wants to put the side handbrake on their vehicle so it's worth saving. But anyway Dodge. I ended up giving Dodge to a friend of mine who has a farm and um, Dodge is with 11 virgin ewes. Well they're probably not virgins anymore um, but here's a pic of Dodge in his element. I do miss a little guy, but he had to go. He was just way too noisy. He would not stop. And it was basically revolved around getting attention from me. So I'd get home in the middle of the night and he would just go on and on and on, which is really sad. And um, unfortunately, it's not something I could train out of it. So yeah, it's in a better place and definitely living it up on like a couple hundred acres somewhere. So good on you, Dodgy. I miss you, mate. I really do. You're a good pal. And um, 
might even come out and visit you one day. But I can guarantee you 100% my neighbours are happier. Mm. Anyway, let's get on with this chassis. <laughs> So because this is an AR chassis, I'm not sure the later um, brake bits and pieces will go on this, so we'll bolt straight on anyway. So we'll get them down and we'll see if we've got the holes to um, fit them up. If not, we might have to modify some things to make it work. Well, it seems like the handbrake one works because there's holes there and there on both sides. Where's my little bracket? Do they line up? Look at that. They line up. So that's where that bracket goes. Cool. Which what that means is there's nothing I need to modify, so I can just clone these parts up and have them ready to install on the final install. Too easy. So really, I'm waiting on that front cross member. Um, there's a couple of spits I need. <laughs> spits. There's a couple of bits I need to weld up, but I want to do that once the cross member's in, um, and I want to go over it with a wire wheel, which I need to go and buy it the hardware because my other ones all falling apart. Um, but yeah, not a lot more to do on that chassis. What's next? Well, look at that. My neighbour just dropped that back. Like, I only dropped it over there like an hour ago and he wasn't even home. So, come up pretty good for a home job. So, I might as well fix this up now. Here we go. Throw that piece in there. Bam. I'm not a writer. Okay. <laughs> From a wire brush over that chassis, we're done with the chassis. We're ready to start um, giving it a coat of paint and bolting things to it. I'm satisfied with that, and that's the look I'm going for. Um, so that's it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, and um, I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Cheers. See ya. What do you reckon, Dodgy? What do you reckon, mate? Hey? Yeah. 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 Yeah.